Now it's time, and this is the last part of the percentages actually, to start talking about reverse percentages. Yeah? And especially with these types of percentage questions, you have to take extra care. What is going on? After a discount of 10%, the dress cost $80. What was the original price of the dress? Yeah? Now this is a reverse percentage question. Yeah? Before yeah, or in the past, you will get a question, for instance, a dress costs $80, you get 10% discount. What is the new price of this dress? But that's not what is happening now. You already got the 10% discount and the dress now is $80. What was the original price? Okay, now important is to realize is that the $80 is how much percent of the original price yeah. Well, they took off 10%, so the $80 is 100 minus 10 is 90% of the original price. So to get the original price, I'm going to divide 80 by 90, yeah, because then I basically have 1%, and then I'm going to times it by 100. Okay, so I'm going to divide it by 90%, times it by 100%, and then if you do that in your calculator, you're going to get 88.89, uh, if you correct that to two decimal places for the cents, $88.89, okay? So, reverse percentages, why? Because in the past, again, you would get the question, a, a dress costs $88.89. You're gonna get 10% discount, what is the price you'll pay? And then you would find 10% of this amount, and then you would deduct it, and then you say, well, the price is $80 now, okay, that was before, but now they're going to say, well, the price after the discount is $80, and that's a discount of 10%, what was the original price? So reverse percentages, you're working backwards, yeah? You find out that price that is 90% of the original price, yeah? If the, if the discount would be 15%, yeah? You would do 100 minus 15, then it would be 85% of the original price, yeah? But now it's 90% of the original price. So I'm gonna divide it by 90%, yeah? Then I'll have 1%, times it by 100% to go to the original value. 88 pounds and 89 cents yeah now this is something you have to practice so you really are able to, to distinguish between reverse percentage problem and an ordinary percentage problem yeah where they say again they give you a price and a discount and you have to calculate the new price okay so i have a couple more example questions for you and um, i'll see you there